time out of your busy day to come to the 2014 State of the City Address. Although the economists are predicting growth somewhere in the 3 to 4 percent range this year, we anticipate we will not only achieve this prediction, we are going to clearly exceed it. With this type of growth, we know that our municipality is now competing on a global stage for investment and talent, and it is our job as leaders to ensure that our community is at the forefront. So how do we market our city's potential to investors? If we believe our city is the place to live, to work, to play, and to invest in, it means we must also be willing to invest in our own city infrastructure. The new City Hall and Library expansion are two examples of these type of investment. However, as you walk through these facilities, you will realize that we didn't just build an office tower or library. Instead, we invested in creating a building that merged old with new. We filled it with warmth and charm because we wanted to make sure that our residents and visitors felt welcome. We have been investing in public art and noon hour events to bring the facility to life. And last year we invested in a lights up display. And from what I hear from our residents, they love it. This facility is both inviting and they are very proud to showcase it. Other investments include the highly anticipated new Seniors Lodge that we lobbied the province for and the expanded modern RCMP detachment. We're beginning to invest in a public art walk, starting with two new bronze statues that we unveiled in 2013. All of the sheep and Inspector Jarvis, the Northwest Mountain Police. And we're looking forward to unveiling a third statue this year. In there are just too many new businesses to highlight, but I thought it was important to highlight a couple that I spoke about at last year's State of the City Address that have been on the top of our residents' mind for a few years now, and that is the Fort Cinema Theatre. It's new, refreshed, with new up-to-date technology. And of course, everybody's been asking for the bowling alley. So that's two we can cross off our list, I'm very pleased to say. If you take a tour through our Fort Industrial Estates, you will notice that it has taken off, and we expect to hear more announcements coming from them soon. In 2013, we did see some significant changes with the addition of Access Pipelines Control Center opening and the saw turning for Yanta Canada's new 18-acre module and fabrication facility. We understand how powerful planning and multi-year budgeting is to provide the foundation for responsible spending, for keeping taxes affordable, and for being able to position ourselves economically competitive with our neighbours, the region, and in some cases, the world. We included a transit pilot project that should offer better transportation services a park and ride at the Dow Centennial Center, so we no longer have to have a park and hide. New waste reduction options, <coughs> wayfinding signage improvements, which will reduce clutter of signage within our city and improve wayfinding. A school resource officer, but one of the most exciting projects that you're going to find that's underway this year is the construction of a new historic precinct center. The great news is, we accomplished all of this and kept the proposed 2014 tax increase below the target set in 2012 when we approved the three-year budget strategy. I can confirm that work is ongoing to develop a four-year budget to align with the new four-year term of council with an approach to our budgeting to be transparent to be accountable, and to be responsible with your tax dollars. As we continue to connect the dots and see the big picture to align today's actions with our vision of the future, we must ensure that we key in on five key areas. Number one, having a plan to sustain our community into a future.
Our community sustainability plan says, the infrastructure of a city is the backbone of daily living. We are currently at 52% of our allowable debt limit. That includes borrowing for the RCMP building, the new City Hall Library expansion, and sewer line projects. Investing in these projects does not mean we are deferring these costs to our future generations. Simply put, these services and facilities are needed now, and they will be utilized by many future generations. Number two, having a thriving business and industrial base, which very much includes our residential, commercial, and most of our industrial development. At the Alberta Industrial Heartland annual stakeholder event that was held a couple of weeks ago, it was confirmed that there are still over $20 billion worth of investment, either in the conception stage, on the ground, in the feasibility stage, or waiting for final approval. These projects are significant, and the City of Fort Saskatchewan is positioned perfectly to see the benefits. Number three, having a strong, diverse, and competitive economy. We can't talk about a sustainable economy for Fort Saskatchewan and ignore the fact that we are quickly absorbing all our serviceable land in our municipality. We need more land to grow. Fort Saskatchewan is considered a priority growth area in the region and we are now looking at a population growth scenario that has us reaching nearly 30,000 people in seven years or less. I can confirm that we are in discussions with Strathcona County and the Capital Region Board about growth and our needs for the future. This has been a priority for me and it is a priority for your newly elected council. Having a strong, vibrant, engaged and compassionate community. This is a good time to talk about vibrant communities. What does a vibrant community look like? It's not just about the economy, and it's not just about infrastructure. It's about being engaged with our people. A vibrant community must also be a compassionate community with a sense of identity, offering a strong social fabric to its citizens. And as leaders, we believe that we must invest in people, not just infrastructure, which includes continuing to invest in recreation, culture, emergency services, and social programs. Within the operational budget, we've included items for the quality of life. Items like special transportation services, enhanced transit, a family violence prevention officer, we provide grants to the library operations, we have a youth drop-in zone, and now we've included a school resource officer. A powerful thing that happens when you tell people in your community that they do matter and it makes me feel incredibly proud when I hear from outside sources that Fort Saskatchewan has such a positive energy about our community and that our citizens genuinely take the time to get to know you. Fort Saskatchewan is a compassionate community and I like to think as all of us as builders of Fort Saskatchewan always working to create a better community. We can't do this alone. So we will always be looking for your support as our partners to continue these quality of life enhanced services to ensure that they are available in our community. Number five, having excellence in leadership and government. The job of City Council is to govern and to serve our community. We will continue to listen to you and to work with our administration. So in closing, our council is engaged and they're ready to serve you with enthusiasm and we are looking forward to making our city the best it can be. We will remind you often that your voice counts and that we are listening. We will encourage all of you to participate in our open houses and online surveys and as we go out to the community and seek your input to connect the dots 
to see the big picture, and to make sure that you feel you have made a difference in how our community develops. I know I'm very excited about our future and the opportunities that lie ahead. We can't just be looking one year at a time. We have to see the future and choose the right path forward. Our task as a community, mayor, council, residents, business, industry, developers is clear. We can all inspire each other to make our city the best it can be. Make our Fort Saskatchewan a place that we'll be proud to call home for many years to come. I look far forward to doing my part along our city council and alongside you. Thank you very much and have a great day.